Up next in NJ Day Beer Review, we're going to be looking at Magnificent Desolation, and this is by Gusto Brewing Company, and it is coming in at 9.1% ABV. Check it out. One. Hi, everybody. It's Rich again, and once again, I am with Kevin. He's going to be here for Magnificent Desolation. Now, this is brewed to honor Buzz Aldrin's description of the moon landing. This famous, uh, his famous first words upon disembarking the lunar lander on July 20th, 1969. Now, I've told you about Gusto Brewing. Mm -hmm. I'm a big fan of them. I'm actually using my little Gusto stemless class. Uh, but, uh, they Kevin. Sponsor? No, not no, they are. Well, okay, so let me be honest. No, they're good. They're good. Not only, uh, they're not sponsoring, they never say anything about the reviews coming out or anything like that, um, but they do occasionally kick in. Yeah, a couple extra beers. Not too so, bad. So, but I do Can try we talk to bring about stuff the name back for a second. Isn't it great? Magnificent Desolation. Yeah, it really sounds like an unreleased Opeth album for those mm. metal fans out there. Um, that really is. That's a that's a quality. They have good names. You that's know, a like good name. The robots are coming alive from one of their IPAs. Mm -hmm. They have the May uh, May the Fourth Breakfast Out, which I really like, which I go down on May the Fourth for sometimes when it aligns with my work schedule <laughs> yeah and actually that brought on a real cough um, so we're going to take a look at this this is an imperial stout i know it is uh brewed with toasted coconut and vanilla um and i was talking to one of the brewers when i was down there picking this up i was down there last week and they were saying that they used many pounds of coconut in this and i know you're not the biggest coconut fan i'm not but exceptions will be made, mm -hmm. and if it involves alcohol, I might be a little more, a little more lean. We'll see though. All right, I'm gonna use the gusto glass for the pour, and ooh, pours thick, very dark, dark brown to black, almost syrupy in consistency. Not a ton of carbonation. A little bit. Yeah, a little bit. Um, yeah, do you like coconut? I do. Okay. Um, Right. Probably even that out. All right. Let's try the nose on this one. Not much. No, I'm not getting a tremendous amount of coconut on the nose. What I am getting, though, a lot of chocolate. And some, I'm really getting just, some roasty coffee, too. I don't smell much. No, it's real subtle to me. I am definitely getting some roast. Uh, I'm not getting, you're right though, I'm not getting. I mean, we're also coming off the. Uh, we are, but it's been a while. We did we did uh, an earlier review of a Bourbon County and a whiskey. All right, I get a little like like subtle chocolate. Yeah, I, that's what I'm getting the majority of, sort of a, a chocolate and a bit of that coffee roast that, you know, I expect in a stout. So I guess it's maltiness is the correct terminology. But so this is a 9% or stout? 9.1. Oh, so. excuse me. Yep. I don't want to undersell it. Um, ready to take right. a sip? Yeah, let's see. Wow. Okay. That is very interesting that the taste is much more pronounced than the smell. The sm like I said, the smell is almost non-existent as far as I can tell. Like you had, I had to like really reach work. for it. Yeah. That taste is is upfront. It's definitely chocolate and coconut, and I'm not offended by it. I it tastes to me sort of like a mounds or an almond joy. Yeah, neither of which I. No good. Now, but this I can do. This is uh, this I like. This is uh, very. Good, I like actually. it a lot. Um, yeah, front end of the tongue. I'm getting all of that coconut as it goes back. It sort of like goes into the chocolate, a little roasty finish at the end. It's a beautiful beer. Yeah, it's sweet, but not cloying. Yeah, it's it's not too much. It, it's, man, it's, again, a delicious dessert beer. It really is. You know, and the thing is, at 9%, how much burn are you getting out of this? Zero. Zero. I mean, that's, you know, I'm glad you pointed that out because it kind of is ridiculous mm -hmm. that there's nothing. You know, in a way, 
I always think of that sort of like you can't taste the alcohol as a major component of a really good stout. Mm -hmm. um, is that the alcohol, you know, that ethanol is not just in your face. Mm. And I mean, I've had some high ABV stouts where it's been just like sure. so overt. Um, I'm thinking like the 1050, I'm thinking like the Narwhal, like those were very alcohol forward. This is chocolate, then coconut, with a little roastiness at the end. Again, to me, it's like a Mounds or an Almond Joy. Yeah. Deceptively strong. Yeah, deceptively if, strong. If you took, if someone gave you a blind taste test and you had to guess the ABV, nine would not come out of many people's mouths. No, no. In fact, I am starting to get a little bit of warmth in the stomach, but just a hair. Not enough to sit there and say, this is very, very strong. Yeah, I don't even get that. Just starting to get that. And you know, I mean, let's hey. be honest, 9% is no joke. No. You know, when you consider the average, yes, now I've had it, Budweiser is 5%. Is and it, I, it's it five. five, yeah, five. Did Bud Light was like 4.5, yeah, it's up. Oh, okay. It's a surprise beer by oh. Kevin. Oh, yeah. uh, and it goes through the hole and then yeah. we, we play with the some red cup surprise, and all of that. Yeah. Call it a nightmare. You know, it's funny, I actually drank another uh, macro brew while I was in uh, Colorado. I had a Coors. And oh my God, what a piece of shit that was. For a second, I thought you were gonna say you actually had another Budweiser that you, no. that you saw. Now, was this, why did you drink that? It was it the only thing available? Okay, so Were I was you... looking for local beers that I could try, and I thought to myself, first off, the place I was staying was charging like ten dollars a can, mm. which was ridiculous. I found it offensive, but I wanted to do a couple of reviews while I was there. So those eleven people that watched them, that was for you, um, you know. But I figured Coors is like the quintessential. Colorado, you know, Colorado yeah. beer, and I mean it's, it was not good. No, like if that if that was beer in Colorado, Oof. actually to be honest, man, like the beer I had in Colorado was overwhelmingly mediocre. So mm. you know, like I expected mountain streams and all this kind of sh stuff like that, and yeah. it was just wasn't bland. that great. No, oh, interesting. One lager was decent. I had a fruited sour there that was not good, mm -hmm. and then I had Coors, and it was equally not good. It's very sad. And it's funny because there's like a microbrewery on every corner. So like, you know. You didn't have to travel to Colorado to find out that course was mediocre, but, but here we are. It was bad. I did that review in a hallway in front of a piano. I'm almost <laughs> embarrassed by it because I drank it out of the can. Oh, so I have not published it yet, but I will. That's Don't funny. worry. Um, <clears throat> carbonation wise, I think they hit this just right. As you swallow it, the carbonation sort of forces a little more of the flavor up into your sinuses, which to me is a nice, Addition to this, yeah, it's definitely mm. not over carbonated like your uh, Coors. But was a Coors Banquet beer or Coors Light? Uh, no, it was a Coors Banquet beer. Ooh, it was a, uh, you really went high class with a collectible Wyoming can. Wow, it did actually say that collectible <laughs> can on it, which I thought was so ridiculous. Awesome. Well, I drank about a third of it and then I threw the can in the trash because it was it was terrible. It's pretty bad. So far, the macros that we've had. The Bud, the Bud Light, the cores have been uniformly bad. But th th they all taste the same. Like th that's the thing that always always makes me. I don't know. Like it's, it's weird that there are people that are like, no, I don't drink Bud, I drink cores. And to me, and you taste them both, and then they they're both identical. Taste like aluminum cans. They're identical. Yeah. There's nothing different between but, you know, but it's brand loyalty. I get it. You know, people like that with all sorts of stuff, like but, golf balls. People are nuts. I don't know, man. You know, like this is the thing, and it's, I'm going to roll it back to this right now. This, uh, I'm glad that I've tried the macros now because it really does make me appreciate how much the small little brewery is doing. Yeah. Because, like, Gusto is a small place, and they consistently pump out beers that have been really really high quality um and you know flavorful and enjoyable and you know complex and all of that uh meanwhile you get Coors or Budweiser the quote-unquote king of beers and there's just no flavor it's not even offensive it's just not there uh, I feel like there, there is a flavor it's just a terrible flavor it's just it you know what it's not for me and no. that's and that's fine I now understand how people <laughs> chug like a, a Budweiser because there's nothing there. Yeah. There's nothing. There's really there. nothing in the way of drinking 18 of them if that's your thing, you know. Because it's you're right. 
Ugh. I would not like doing that to a, a beer like this would be a waste. Yeah, a waste. And quite frankly, at nine percent, yeah, it's probably gonna do a little damage as well. Anyway, folks, that was Magnificent Desolation by Gusto Brewing Company. I know that uh, Gusto does still have this available um, as of, what is this, the third week, second week of July. Week. Um, they do not, however, um, really you know, distribute outside of their little brewery. So if you happen to be down in North Cape Bay, New Jersey, definitely a place I would stop. Uh, the beer there is always pretty solid, and, and quite honestly, this is just another example of how they really hit the mark. Yeah. Um, even somebody who's not a big fan of the flavor profile. I'm gonna, with glee, finish this. Me too. Yeah, it's really good. Hey anyway, folks, thanks for joining us. If you hit that like button, subscribe. i uh, love to hear from you. If you've tried anything by Gusto, uh, please feel free. Throw some comments down below, and we'll see you next time. I'm gonna go finish this. Uh, cheers. See you.